In this video, I'm demonstrating the software for the E-Tape liquid level sensor from Adafruit. Let's get the application started. I'm in Visual Studio, connected to my Raspberry Pi. I'll press F5 to start the application. Here is the main view displaying the liquid level. Before I demonstrate the sensor readings, let's calibrate the sensor. You're now looking at the calibration view. Across the bottom, we have some various numbers from the sensor. All the way to the left are the current calibration points. I'm using a nonlinear, second order polynomial equation for the calibration curve, which requires three points. The calibration points are at 4, 8, and 12 inches. The raw sensor reading and the raw reference readings are the values currently being read from channel 0 and channel 1 of the ADC respectively. These values can be any number between 0 and 1023. The normalized sensor reading is the reading adjusted to a value between 0 and 1 by dividing the raw reading by 1023. The adjusted sensor reading is the value that has been scaled against the reference reading. This is the value we will use while calibrating and when computing and displaying the water level. All the way to the right is the stability factor. As the sensor is moved in the water and the reading is changed, it is important to wait for the reading to stabilize while calibrating the sensor. This is done by monitoring a fixed series of measurements and calculating the coefficient of variance, which is also referred to as the normalized measure of spread. The closer this value is to zero, the more stable the reading is. You can take a look at how this is done in the source code. I'll bring up the actual sensor in another window so you can watch while I run the calibration. You'll see it on the upper left portion of the video. To begin the calibration process, I'll click the Start button. The first measurement to be taken is at 4 inches. I will raise the sensor to this level and then wait for the reading to stabilize before clicking Next. The next reading is at 8 inches. I'll lower the sensor and wait for the reading to stabilize. And finally, I'll repeat this process at 12 inches. The sensor is now calibrated. You can see the new calibration points on the bottom left hand of the screen. The calibration process can be repeated at any time, and these points will be updated each time. The application will store these values and use them each time it starts. I click Done and I'm back in the main view of the application. Watch the readings as I move the sensor up one inch at a time. You can see that when the sensor is removed from the water, the signal has some noise which gives a false reading. This is due to using the reference signal on channel 1. It will eventually settle down. When I connected the circuit without the reference signal, using only the signal from our sense, the value went immediately to zero when removed from the water. But in this configuration, there was no adjustment for temperature change. Since this sensor is used in liquids where temperature will have a definite effect on the reading, it is important to use our sense in the circuit. To see how to account for this, download the current source code. I've added a new calibration method that takes care of this problem. And that's the e-tape sensor on the MCP3008. I hope you enjoyed this demo.